Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Good morning to you trumpeters and prayer partners all around the world. This is your host of Morning Devotions, your word for today, Evangelist Brian Bassett. I have a good word for you today and I trust that it would be a blessing and an encouragement to you throughout this day and the rest of this week that you may be strong in the Lord and in the power of God, recognizing who you are. Don't forget who you are in Christ because the Apostle Paul tells us, hallelujah, right here in Romans chapter 1 and verse 16. I love this, this verse. This is one of my favorite verse here in the Bible. And it reads, Paul says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Whose gospel is it? It's Christ Jesus' gospel. That's whose it is. Not the apostle Paul, not pastors or bishop, evangelists or doctors or whomever they want to call themselves. This gospel belongs to Jesus Christ because he was the one that died on the cross. He was the one that brought good news, and that's what it means. Gospel means good news. For I am not ashamed of the good news of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation, deliverance, healings, redemption, all of these things packed up in this one word, salvation. To everyone that believe it. Notice that. To everyone that believe it. If you don't believe, then this is not for you. Hallelujah. You can only accept this. And this will only work if you believe it with all your heart. He said, to the Jew first and also to the Greek, the Jews they're still playing a very important role in the plan of God as he continue to wait until he comes back to this world. And he's also letting us know that <clears throat> because Jesus came unto his own, which were the Jews, and they received him not, but as many as receive him, to them gave he power to become sons of God. The Greek or the Gentiles, amen, we have been engrafted in. We are now a part of the gospel of Jesus Christ, amen. Take advantage of that. <clears throat> Embrace it because you and I were left out. You and I were just outside looking on the inside trying to get a bone. But we no longer are getting a bone. But because of his mercy and his grace, he loved us. And he said, you know what? I have said I sent my son into the world. Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whomsoever shall believe in him should not perish. And that's why you and I should not be ashamed of the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ testified about what God has done for you. He has brought you from a mighty, mighty long way. Amen. Don't be ashamed to tell people that Jesus Christ is your savior. Hallelujah. And you don't just have to wait till you go to church on Sunday mornings and, and get up when they have testimony and, and everybody wants to get up and say a testimony then because they want everybody to see them. And sometimes the testimonies that they're giving don't really make no sense at all because all they're doing is talking about what the devil did. The devil did this and the devil did this and the devil did this and the devil did that, giving praise to the devil. And then at the end of it for a whole maybe 10, 12, 13 minutes, they're talking about the devil had me this and the devil did this. And then they finally close and say, thank God, God is good. He came to my rescue. Wow, really? 
I'm telling you, man, don't give the devil no praise or whatever. Because whatever you are going through, recognize that you are going through it, not because of the devil, but because of God, because of Romans chapter 8 and verse 28. That's why you are going through it. Hallelujah. Don't blame the devil for what you're going through. Stop blaming him. Amen. The devil has been defeated. He is a defeated foe. You are walking in victory. You are an overcomer. Your God is a mighty fortress. Oh, glory to God. It's a song that we used to sing, and I've heard it sing many, many times back home when my dad was a pastor. Hallelujah. I love, somehow the Lord's got me going back to some of those old, old songs. A mighty fortress is our God. Hallelujah. Yeah, what a beautiful thing. Listen, the Bible says here in Hebrews chapter uh, 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 10 and verse 35, cast not away therefore your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. Don't cast your confidence away. Believe that you, hallelujah, that you have the confidence in God and that he is able to do all all things trust God child of God trust him and you will see how God is going to come through for you you are a child of God you have been born again hallelujah you have been bought with a price and that price was the blood of Jesus Christ amen glory to God Hebrews 13 and verse 6 so that we may Boldly say, the Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Amen. And you can also add uh, Psalms 27, verse 1, 2, and 3. Amen. You need to have confidence in Jesus Christ. The title of this word today, hallelujah, the gospel of Christ Jesus or Jesus Christ. This gospel belongs to Jesus Christ and he has now given it to you and me. He said, freely you receive. Amen. Freely I give it and freely you receive. When you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal savior, you said, Lord, come into my life. I want to be saved. Hallelujah. And that's when he came into your life and you were changed and now you are a part of the family of God. Oh, praise the Lord. A mighty, mighty fortress is our God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your word and for your touch and for the salvation and for your gospel. Thank you for changing my life. A mighty fortress is our God. A bulwark never failing Our helper he amid the flight Of mortal ills prevailing For still our ancient foe Doth seek to work us woe His craft and power I pray and armed with cruel hate And on earth is not his
gospel of Jesus Christ. The good news. This is good news. I know you could use some good news. You've been having, hearing bad news every time you perhaps turn on the television. There's bad news. People getting shot, killed, murdered, raped, all sorts of different things. The economy, floods, fire, earthquakes, all of these things. But then again, that's part of the end time. But also the end time is talking about the good news. There is good news, my friend. Tell people about the good news. Share the good news of what happened to you. Because what happened to you, when you accept Jesus Christ, it wasn't bad. It was good news that you have accepted Jesus Christ as your personal and Savior. So tell somebody, testify. Hey, listen, if this good news today has been a blessing to you, will you let me know? Will you share it, please? Share it with somebody else. Amen. Each one of you, share this with somebody today. Hallelujah. And help me spread this good news all around the world. Hallelujah. So that others may know that Jesus Christ is Lord and that he died for you and me. There is hope, there is peace, there is joy, there is salvation. Again, Paul says, for I am not, in Romans chapter, hallelujah, 1, 16, he says, for I am not ashamed of the gospel. You don't need to be ashamed of Jesus Christ. Why should you be ashamed of him? Testified about who Jesus Christ is in your life. Give him the praise. Give him the glory. Don't be ashamed of who you are in Christ. Some people are ashamed for you to come to their house. Ashamed because of the clothes they wear. Shame because of the car they drive. Shame because they don't have a car. Shame because, you know, maybe they don't have a job. You are a child of God. And appreciate what God has done for you. Listen, my time is up. Happy Happy, happy, whatever day this is, amen. Well, praise the Lord, quickly, we've got, hallelujah, eight, six, uh, rather, uh, three days before I get to Minneapolis, Minnesota, and eight days before I arrive down in the Philippines to have fun with my good friends down there, amen. Three days from Florida to Minneapolis, Minnesota, and eight days from Minnesota to the Philippines. I'm looking forward to seeing all of you down there. Pray for me and continue to sow a seed and share this word with somebody. Will you do that today? Remember, you don't have any trouble. All you need is faith in God. Have a blessed day. In Jesus' name I pray. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Have a good day. Bye-bye.